గుడ్ ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ ఐఎమ్ వైష్ణవి ఐఎమ్ టీచింగ్ ఎకనామిక్స్ ఇన్ శంకర ఏఎస్ అకాడమీ ఐ టీచ్ ఎకనామిక్స్ ఆప్షనల్ వీ డూ వన్ బ్యాచ్ ఇన్ అ ఇయర్ జనరలీ ద పర్స్పెక్టివ్ ఆఫ్ ద స్టూడెంట్స్ అబౌట్ ఎకనామిక్స్ విల్ బీ దాట్ ఇట్ విల్ బీ వెరీ వెరీ డిఫికల్ట్ బట్ యాజ్ సచ్ ద సబ్జెక్ట్ ఇస్ అ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ సబ్జెక్ట్ డైనమిక్ సబ్జెక్ట్ అండ్ ద ఎవాల్వింగ్ సబ్జెక్ట్ ఎవ్రీ డే టు డే వీ నీడ్ టు నో ది ఎకనామిక్స్ ఇఫ్ వీ రియలీ వాంట్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ హ్యాపనింగ్ ఇన్ ద కంట్రీ so when we see who are all the kinds of students who can come for economics all these students who are very strong in mathematics and the students who feel that they want to write the answers in a short and the clear way it is not actually very demanding on the language side the presentation will be usually drawing a diagram and then explaining the concept about it in economics optional we have two papers paper 1 is about the theory paper 2 is about the indian economy which will be much more like the general economics what all the students will be preparing so paper 1 when we talk about the theory that is where we say that most of the subject will be described with a diagram and the concept will be explained based upon the diagram so when you see this kind of a presentation two things are essential one is that you should know a good mathematics so that you will be able to understand the subject of economics in a better way number 2 you should be able to do a good presentation of drawing so that you will be able to explain the concepts so the total explanation depends upon the presentation right so the second thing is when we uh, see who are all the uh, subjects who can come to economics mainly the arts side students as well as the engineering students the bcom mcom mba all of these students can come for economics and those who have got selected in the previous years if you see about uh, the optional students they all had been engineers if you want to ask about a bit more about the paper 2 of this optional subject paper 2 will be much more like the general uh, studies paper which all the students will be studying about economics but there are uh, certain presentations which will go from before independence till up to 1991 after 1991 so if you look at the syllabus of paper 2 after 1991 is a major area which all the students will be presenting in the examination whereas the optional students will have to study before 1947 as well as before 1991 right but the presentation can be done very easily till up to 1991 after 1991 anybody who is having a very good practice of reading the newspaper and collecting the knowledge over a period of time they will be able to score very good in the paper 2 also and the whatever theory which we are learning from this paper 1 in economics can also be applied while explaining the concepts in paper 2 for example there are lots of things which we will be writing about the fiscal policy which is about the government policy so public finance is the theoretical part which we will study in the paper 1 the theories over there can be made use to explain the simple uh, day to day changes what we observe in the fiscal policy so the presentation in the paper 2 will definitely improve with the knowledge from the paper 1 so this is about the syllabus as we already said art students those who have very good knowledge in mathematics who have the uh, good presentation skills we all can take economics and score very well in the examination thank you